But now for something completely different, we're gonna go for a walk around my neighborhood. Now this is something I keep forgetting to do, which is fix my wife's car. And by fix, I mean just put a new stereo in it. Now, they want a couple hundred bucks for this replacement thingy, which is just not gonna happen. And it doesn't even have an aux in jack for like iPods or phones or whatever the crazy kids are using these days. So as a stopgap measure so that my wife can have some music, I'm just gonna stick a chip amp in the dash temporarily, and then we'll figure out what to do from there as far as the aftermarket stuff. So if I've assembled a little kit here, and we're just gonna head over and give it a go. Let me show you around here. That's where I live. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice when no one's shooting at you. <clears throat> unfortunately, unfortunately it's like 90 degrees out right now, which sucks. So I've got on my workout shirt. And hopefully I don't melt while I'm doing this. Here's the kit. Apparently, Aaron used to own this box at one point in time. I got it from a thrift store. I have no idea. So I've got some paper towels to wipe my dumb sweaty head. And we're going to be sticking in this thing, which is just one of these little... Get that out with one hand. One of these little Amazon D-Rock amplifiers. And we'll see how that goes. Now I'm not going to show you how to get this out of there because I'm not in the habit of showing people how to steal stereos. But it's not exactly rocket science. Hopefully this fits standard jumper pins. I'll have to pause this at a, a couple times because the um, pin map that I downloaded is on my phone. Looks like solid 22 gauge fits in there just fine. So we'll run with that. This is a wiring diagram for this car. So we're just gonna be using the left and right front speakers. And then for power, I'm gonna use the switched accessories power. That's fused at 12 volts and five amps. So that should be plenty for running that tiny little board as long as I don't plug it in backwards. And then we're just gonna run it off the radio ground here, which I tested and is grounded to the chassis. I don't have enough hands to do all this stuff together, so I'm just going to quickly test to make sure that these are right. I'm hooking this up to the accessory on off because I don't think it's going to draw enough power for that to be a problem. So that appears to be the yellow and black wire, so we're just going to jump her off of that and see how it does. Now it looks like all our grounds are ultimately tied together, but I'm gonna double check the pin map to see what's going on there. Otherwise, I'll just hook up to the ground right next to it. So I temporarily wired up a couple of jumpers to this, and this is what I'm gonna shove in a dashboard just to see if it works, and then I'll come back and make a second pass and put something more permanent in. Well, there we go. Let's give it a try and see what happens. And this is how I eventually just wired it up. It's only hooked up to the front speakers, but that's fine. And I'll have to come back and make some kind of more permanent connector. Well, it does work, as you can see, but apparently there's some weird thing with the iPhone where you can't play music and record a video at the same time. Oh well, you just have to take my word for it. Now, of course, I have to plug up this dumb hole with something, so I'll either A, 3D print a thing and put it on there, or B, find a nice piece of wood or something like that, and then mount a phone mount to it or something. And now it's time to celebrate it with some weird food from the Turkish store on the corner. Generic ice cream sandwich and uh, gazazalma up scene. Whatever. Cheers. <sighs> nope, still no idea what it is. Cherry? Question mark?